what the hell's going on with Conor McGregor? Every time this dude steps out in public, every time, he makes a complete fool of himself. After his loss at UFC 264 back in July, I told you guys that the drawing power of Conor McGregor is on the decline. He's lost three of his last four fights, all in convincing fashion. The lone win was against Donald Cerrone, who's never been a main event fighter in UFC and is on the back nine of his MMA career. But what happens in the octagon, really not the point here. Conor McGregor could lose every fight. He would still be a huge draw because he's entertaining. Mike Tyson lost fights towards the end of his boxing career. People still pay good money to watch him fight. Once you establish a legacy like that, all you have to do is maintain it. It's kind of hard to do that when every time you step out in public, you act like an ass. Conor McGregor is out of control. He thinks that he is untouchable, that he is above reproach. Think about everything that's happened with him over the last four years. There was the incident at Bellator 187 in November 2017 when Conor McGregor jumped into the cage after a fight to celebrate Charlie Ward's win. He wasn't supposed to be in there. Athletic commissions have very strict rules about things like that. And Conor McGregor knew that. He knew he wasn't supposed to be in there, but he didn't care because rules don't apply to him. He ended up being separated by a referee who Conor McGregor then pushed and caused an altercation with him. Because that's what tough guys do. They push referees. You had the altercation between Conor McGregor and Khabib in April 2018. Conor McGregor, again, real tough guy, throws a damn dolly through a bus window trying to attack Khabib. Six months later, Khabib got his revenge as he beat the living hell out of Conor McGregor. You would think an ass-whooping of epic proportions would humble him, but it didn't. It didn't. The erratic behavior of Conor McGregor continued. He was accused of sexual assault twice in 2019. In March 2019, he was arrested in Florida for stealing a dude's phone and smashing it on the ground. August 2019, he assaulted a man twice his age, an old dude, in a bar in Ireland. Real tough guy. September 2020, once again accused and arrested for sexual assault, this time in Corsica. You see, Conor McGregor, he is an equal opportunity menace. America, Ireland, Corsica, it doesn't matter where he is, he's going to be unhinged. He is going to cause problems. In any other sport, NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, tennis, hockey, golf, soccer, any other sport, this type of behavior would not be tolerated. Right now, the Texans are refusing to play Deshaun Watson because of all the sexual assault allegations against him. The PGA does not tolerate juvenile behavior, but in the UFC, a sport heavily reliant on star power, the attention Conor McGregor brings is invaluable. He is the biggest star Dana White has. Dana White doesn't give a damn about any of this, all he cares about is Conor McGregor getting back in the octagon, selling one and a half million pay-per-views, and making hundreds of millions of dollars. But if this type of behavior continues, there is going to come a point where it's going to impact the drawing power of Conor McGregor. Eventually, he's going to take it too far, and it's going to ruin his career. The juvenile behavior of Conor McGregor was on full display last night at MTV's VMA Awards. Now, details leading up to the altercation are unclear at this point. It's being reported that Conor McGregor asked for a picture with Machine Gun Kelly. For one reason or another, MGK declined, didn't want to take a picture. Maybe he was busy. Maybe he was preoccupied. Maybe he just doesn't like Conor McGregor. A lot of people don't. Whatever the reason, he didn't want to take a picture. Normal people after being denied, would simply move on. Not Conor McGregor. Watch what happened. Conor McGregor is 33 years old. He is supposed to be a professional. What 33-year-old man 
a professional fighter at that, supposedly a tough guy. What 33-year-old man throws a drink at a pop star? This is not the bad girls club. This is the VMAs. This would be like Mike Tyson throwing a drink at the Backstreet Boys in 1999. MGK is not a fighter. He is a pop star. After the incident took place, Conor McGregor was stopped by Entertainment Tonight and asked about the altercation. Check out what he said. What happened? Absolutely nothing. I don't know. I just, I just showed up and I don't know. Just, I don't even know the guy, to be honest with you. Just rumors, nothing happened with me. I only fight real fighters, people that actually fight, you know what I mean? I certainly don't fight little vanilla boy rappers. You know, I don't even know the guy. I don't know anything about him, except that he's with Megan Fox. Hmm, hmm. Conor McGregor is asked what happened, literally seconds after it happened. And his response is, I don't know? Dude, you were there. You threw a damn drink at a pop star. Then you proceed to pretend like you don't even know who Machine Gun Kelly is. Let's pretend for a second that's true. Conor McGregor has no idea who MGK is. Never heard of him. Never heard his music. Never seen him before. If that's the case, then why the hell are you throwing a drink at a complete stranger? Do you guys walk down the street throwing drinks at people that you don't know? Conor McGregor knows exactly who Machine Gun Kelly is. Maybe he's even a fan of his music. What happened here, he asked for a picture with him, he was turned down, and Conor McGregor once again got in his feelings and lost control of his emotions. This is a child in a man's body. Have you noticed a trend here though? Have you noticed a trend with these altercations involving Conor McGregor? He goes after Khabib when Khabib is locked inside a bus, can't get his hands on him. He attacks an old defenseless man in a bar. He goes after a defenseless pop star. Anytime Conor McGregor loses control, it is always with someone who either can't fight back, won't fight back, or there's enough security around that Conor McGregor can leave unscathed. In other words, Conor McGregor is a bully. Like I said a second ago, one day, Conor McGregor is going to take things too far. He's either going to seriously hurt someone or he's going to screw around with the wrong person and get hurt himself. It's not like these incidents are one-offs. This is a pattern of behavior. If you're Dana White, how do you stop this? How do you control Conor McGregor? He makes more money outside the UFC. He knows Dana White needs him more than he needs the UFC. The UFC is severely lacking in star power right now. Ronda Rousey, gone. Daniel Cormier, retired. Khabib, retired. Nate Diaz has fought three times since 2016. Brock Lesnar, probably never coming back. Conor McGregor is the only draw Dana White has. UFC has eclipsed 1 million buys twice in 2021. Both times, Conor McGregor was the main event. Every other UFC pay-per-view this year didn't come close. Most of the others, they're drawing between 300 and 500,000. Hell, the UFC, they were pulling numbers like that 15, 20 years ago. Now, I would say Conor McGregor needs his ass kicked if that would humble him. Maybe it would change his behavior, but I don't think it will. I don't think it would. He gets his ass kicked every time he steps in the octagon and the juvenile behavior continues. Conor McGregor is out of control. And the problem is, there is nothing Dana White can do about it. All right, let me know what you think of this latest incident involving Conor McGregor. Sound off in the comments below. We have a busy, busy week coming up on the channel. As soon as the ratings are released for college football in the NFL from this weekend, I'll bring that to you. I expect both to have drawn major, major numbers. Once again, the F. Joe Biden chants were prevalent. They were spread throughout college football this past weekend. We might get into that later today, but it's going to be a busy week here on the channel, so make sure to subscribe and also hit that thumbs up button for this video. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, kc underscore btl84 on Twitter. I've been a bit more active on Twitter lately, so go follow me on there, and I will see you guys later this afternoon.